This is a drum machine that I built using Raspberry Pi and touchscreen. I implemented a 16 position sequencer with 16 different channels containing 16 different drum sounds. The body of the device is made by 3D printer. Hi, my name is Merrick, and in this video I will show you how I made this thing. Let's begin. At first, I started working on hardware. The processing unit of my drum machine is Raspberry Pi 4B which I connected to Raspberry touchscreen. Raspberry Pi has input and output pins, which can be used to make buttons and other control elements. I wanted to make my own buttons, but in the end, I didn't. And I am only using the touchscreen for controlling the drum machine. An easier part of this project was the hardware. Now let's talk about the program. I wanted to code an application with graphic user interface using Qt cross-platform software development, but I couldn't install it. After two days of frustration, it still wasn't working. So, I started to search for some other ways. When I was searching for information about signal and audio processing, I accidentally found processing. Processing is programming language and development environment. It is supposed to be used for programming graphic and video applications. But you can program in it Java application with UI. So I used processing instead of Qt. Although UI is good, the most important part of drum machine is sound, and processing doesn't process sound. So I searched on Google again and I found sound library, the Minim. After hours of coding I made an application with nice UI that actually worked. I exported it for Linux ARM processors that means for Raspberry Pi, and I set up my Raspberry Pi to start this application after boot. My device worked this way but it was ugly and it could be controlled only by touchscreen. I designed a box and a cover in Fusion 360 for 3D printing and I printed two testing objects for perfect fit. Then I printed the whole box and a cover using PLA filament. The print took about 20 hours on my Prusa MK3S. I printed it with supports, which I had to remove. The places, where the supports touched the box, turned surprisingly nice. Then I attached the box to the touchscreen using four screws. Firstly I printed a grey colored box and secondly I printed it again but with this magic color. What do you think about it? I think it looks amazing. I bought this MIDI Korg Nano Key 2 which is connecting via USB cable and told myself it could be really cool to control my drum machine with it. Raspberry Pi already has USB ports, so I searched on internet again and I found library for communication via MIDI, it is called the MIDI bus. I programmed what I needed so I am able to control my drum machine with MIDI key now. And what more, I can connect my drum machine to the PC via USB to DIN converter, and use my device for example as a controller for FL Studio. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. If you like the video and want to see more, please hit the like and subscribe button. See you in a next video.